Super Super crazy low range Super Hey, uh, super crazy low range Dave here talking to you about my gig bag. I love the Jasco. It looks great. It's a non-obtrusive, very professional, slick looking mic and uh, What's totally cool about it is, it has an extra special jack just to handle the low frequencies. Most mics only have one, but this one goes to two. And you can't sound bad singing through this. You know, that's what I like about it. Uh, something that's universal. So if you're on stage and someone tries to uh, use your mic, don't let them. Uh, you tell them to get their butt back in their seat and don't ever try that again. Because it's my time to shine my glorious super crazy low range octave pedal. It is so glorious, I tell you what, to be able to change up your show just by stomping something, you know, uh, and suddenly break into a whole new epic low, uh, whether it's with harmonies or that very white just waking up sound. Uh, you know, keyboardists and guitarists, they can change their octaves just by pushing a button. So why can't singers? My wife, Helga, used it on her album called I Wear the Pants. She did some really incredible stuff on that album in the studio, and uh, I tell you what, I get chills every time I hear that album. And as my students know, this thing works great in the studio. <laughs> it's my time to shine. It's my turn to be front and center. Dude, uh, that's just not low enough. Tell you what, uh, get out the super crazy low range octave pedal. That's right, that's right. Uh, now, depress the button. Okay, let's try it again. You ready? Here we go. That's moist. You gotta get one of these humidifiers. You don't want one of those wimpy little personal humidifiers that you put your face into. No siree. You need one of these face hugger humidifiers. I tell you, nothing forces moisture down your cords quite like this. Also, some people would say a bag of pork rinds for your gig bag. As crazy as it sounds, uh, maybe seasoned with a little bit of cayenne pepper. It tends to give you a uh, sense of, well, a feeling of satisfaction. I don't know why. Uh, I don't care why. I just know to me, it tastes good. Also, you're gonna need some of Dave's super crazy low range chamomile tea. It's got my special blend of low growing herbs. Now you can't get this in any store. You can only get it from my website. It's really soothing after those long, low practice sessions. This is the best thing for a vocalist because it helps to cleanse the body, purify the body, while simultaneously loosening up those vocal cords for some serious low action. Some people like to sweeten their chamomile with honey. Now that's okay, as long as it's bumblebee honey. As you know, the bumblebee is the lowest buzzing bee. You wanna stay away from that other wimpy, high buzzing bee honey. Next, you need a good sinus reamer. It's very important to keep your resonance chambers clear. You can get these sinus reamers from my website. They come in classy gold and silver. They're so beautiful. Some of my students even keep them on display in their homes after they're finished with them. So all you do is you attach them to your drill and stuff it up your nose and give it a good long reaming. You can't afford to skip when it comes to the torque. Just put your drill on the highest setting and it's just like brushing your teeth. Not only does it keep your sinuses clear, but if you jam it up there far enough, you can actually increase the size of your resonance chambers. Here, watch this. The average sinus cavity occupies only a small portion of the head. However, 
Dave's sinus cavity is 10 times bigger than average. This grand, resonant cavern in Dave's head helps explain why he can sing such glorious low notes. And you can't. You know, the resonance chambers can also be opened by something called some beach. Now, um, well, I'm actually all out of it right now, but it's a bomb that you put into a baseball glove. So all you do is put it in the glove and you put the glove over your face and inhale all that good stuff into you. Mmm. Oh, my students love this stuff. You know, I know that uh, Norma Jean, you use it, right? Right? Uh, so does Sven, the Swedish hammer. And Jeffrey likes it too. Tons of other singers won't be caught dead without some beach in a glove. But you know, sometimes you just gotta set all that stuff aside and let the voice be dirty. Just cut out my voice of all its amazing technical abilities and the power and the resonance and just be naughty and vulnerable. Not having to prove myself, that's very liberating. And to me, that's where the coolness comes from. And then, when you're done, just turn on the lights and go to my website and order all this stuff immediately. I tell you what, spare no expense when it comes to your range because sometimes super crazy low range requires some super crazy expenditures. Super, super crazy ordering. Super, super crazy ordering. Super, super crazy ordering.